All right, guys. So I'm done with the filing and buffing. I'm done with the filing and buffing. And I actually kind of buffed these glitters. I did encap. I did not encapsulate them. I just left them the way they are. And this is it after filing and buffing. I'm not done yet. I still gotta go into the rest of the design, which is I might just bling. I want to do something on the ombre. But I might just bling. Who knows? Mm, I haven't blinged in a long time, guys. All right, now I'm gonna top coat everything, which I already top coat this, I'm just gonna top coat the rest. Alright guys, this is the finished product. 
so in the beginning of the video i did show you guys the liquid monomer that i did i mixed it with that gel polish just to get this color of acrylic and i did a different blue mix to get this color i kind of regret it it was kind of hard to work with so that hack is not a hack that i would even advise you guys to use on a you know paying customer or client or anybody else really it was just hard to work with and i'm not really sure what's gonna happen with all this contaminated not contaminated with all this mixed products together so overall the color's pretty but i'd rather just find the color of acrylic that i want than do that but it's a really fun thing to do i will do it again but as if for somebody else no i would not use this method for anybody else but myself for fun purposes only but it did come out pretty i love the way the set came out the set came out bomb.com guys oh, it's so pretty but like i told you guys don't worry about the thumb the thumb is just there so the rest of the nails don't look weird but you know if you like this look give it a big oh yeah hold on hold on hold on i'm too i'm rushing right now anyways so when you do do these acrylic these crystals right make sure you go around sealing the corners so they don't get you know caught in your hair but since this is just something i'm gonna pop off and you know go by my days i didn't do that but make sure you do you do it when if you're doing it on yourself to wear for a long time or just doing it on a client or whatnot so yeah seal you'll want to use something like this to seal around just so you could like all the sharp edges or you, i think top coat will work too but this is what i use when i'm sealing it has like this little thing right here has like a little dropper and it also have a it also have a brush to get easy to get easy to the corners you know the tight corners so yeah anyways guys everything i love this look besides the acrylic and the gel to get I me mean, the monomer and the gel making it hard to work with it was still nice it still came out pretty and yeah i will do it again just for fun purposes so if you're feeling this look give it a big thumbs up comment down below you know just drop any emoji whatever just anything the bling is popping so like and subscribe don't forget to you know stay tuned to the next video guys i love you guys for free not a dollar more bye bye now look at this i love this pink that i mixed up it's so pretty but yeah bye bye, -bye. guys i totally forgot it glows hold on Ooh, i like this lighting Ready? this part glowing too but this pink glows hmm. Hmm, okay oh this pink glows like shimmer this is so pretty it glows like a dust. It has like a dusty glowing. Oh, guys, this is gorgeous. Look at this. 